Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Manufacturers has given able voice to the concerns of American industry. And I'm very happy to be in here. <laughs> and in recent years, and I'd like to take this opportunity to give particular thanks to your chairman, Stan Pace, your president, Sandy Trowbridge, and your vice chairman, Bob. If I have be polite and uh, <laughs> it has to do with an old farm. Then he worked and he cleared away the brush and he and the rocks hauled away and he fertilized and he cultivated and he planted and he really created a garden spot. And he was so proud of that. Uh, the squash and well, the tomatoes and the string beans, everything and every time he was praising the Lord for all of this and the old boy was getting pretty fidgety and finally he couldn't stand it anymore and he said, Reverend I wish you could have seen this when the Lord was doing it by himself. <laughs> We've been blessed with a vast and beautiful land and with an energetic and enterprising people. Yet it's up to us to keep our nation prosperous, strong, and free. The of the proposal will have to wait until the address on Tuesday but I'd like to discuss with you the principles upon which our plan is based and the outlands of the plan itself. Already, that is almost universally regarded as needlessly complicated and unfair, and replace it with a simpler, fairer, more streamlined model. Have to have an advanced degree in accounting to get your taxes right. Most people will be able to fill out their tax forms without paying for help and in a fraction. Just as important, the unfairness of all this is the tremendous waste of time, energy, resources that the present system entails. Instead of inventing a better mousetrap, our entrepreneurs and businessmen have to spend their time avoiding the tax trap. Relations become paramount in business decisions, and the rationale and efficient allocation of resources by the market is distorted out of all recognition. Our economy job creation, and technological innovation. We've seen what the first tax cuts achieved in revitalizing our economy you safe in your books and records. Thank you. God bless you all.
All right, participants in this event, Bill Tanner and Secretary of State George Schultz. Tom Roy. I'm fine. How are you, guys? A little warm in the sweater? But that's no, it. no. I'm boiling. This guy's got a sweater on. Anyway. Well, I understand you, uh... Oh, right now I'm just worrying about Here. Exercise a little bit. Yes, a picture of Yes, I got it. 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 Yes, I got Take some time away from work. Do you live in Hawaii? I do. I do. We shoot the show nine months a year there, and uh, so I bought a house, and uh, it's a wonderful place to have time off. I'll be going back there. I think this week. Do you like all the attention to get? Yes. Well, <laughs> some guys get disturbed with it. No, I mean. Uh, then why don't I ask the question? I don't really want it to go away. I'll always See, I'm in Brooks' book. <laughs> Otherwise, we couldn't talk like that. Right? I'm sorry you're not playing, but I understand you've got rough up the volleyball match. Uh, it's just as well I don't play anyway. Uh, I don't even You played the least, right? Yes, I played basketball and volleyball. However, the basketball team, I did a good deal of my playing time instead of sitting on the bench. Interested in anything athletically <laughs> besides <laughs> tennis? <laughs> no, I, I am actually very interested in athletics. I play tennis not very well, but um, I do enjoy it. I wish that I was very Yeah, I nice huh? Thank <laughs> you. 